Hello ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, you are most welcome to my show. And uh, uh, I want to take uh, another privilege to share my views on the ongoing case of uh, Senzo Meiwa in South Africa. Senzo Meiwa was a soccer player, he was playing for Orlando Pirates Football Club. And he was also the captain for Bafana Bafana South African national team and was killed or shot dead at his girlfriend's house. Um, actually, he was killed at his girlfriend's mother's house. Okay, that was in 2014. It was on 26 October 2014. So the case has been going now because the state managed to arrest the suspects. But um, there is one problem with uh, the okay the the most the hottest question that I have seen like on the social media and on YouTube is why is that his girlfriend. Oh, Senzo's girlfriend, Kelly Kumaro, is not the witness in the case, or is not one of the accused in the case. This has been coming a lot, even in the newspapers, to the extent that sometimes we I have seen reports from journalists reporting the case and highlighting that. That 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 uh, that that issue to say why is Kelly Kumaro not the suspect or not included to be a suspect or why is Kelly Kumaro even not a witness in the case? But it surprised me because you know journalists cannot ask that question, but I have seen journalists asking those questions and sometimes even the experts trying to explain why Kelly Kumaro is not a suspect. Why is not a witness? And even the way they explain show, just shows that they're just putting their general opinion, okay, of why Kelly Kuma is not a suspect and why he is not a witness. Okay? So it is wrong. The way um, the opinions, the opinions from the people, okay, opinions even from the journalists, the way they put it is very wrong, okay? So Personally, I just want to share, I'm not saying what I'm saying is true, but I just want to share a little knowledge about why Kelly Kumar cannot be a witness in that case and why Kelly Kumar cannot be a suspect in that case. I'm not, I'm not uh, referring, I'm not making a reference of South African law, but maybe there I'm not very sure about South African law and practice. But I'll make a reference of the common practice all over the world. Okay? <clears throat> the common practice all over the world is that uh, where there is a suspect, okay, or where there are suspects, okay, and even even if even if Kerry was implicit or implicated in that case, okay, even if it were like that, okay. The state cannot rush to take her as a suspect, okay? Because there are already main suspects who are the killers. The state already proved that they already proved the state by itself already proved that we are intruders at that place at the house, and they were suspects. Where those are the main suspects. They already the state already proved because of the statements from many eyewitnesses that were already in uh, that were on the scene okay. so the state could not have used speculation or imagination okay to pick people at random as witness or suspects or witnesses no there is a procedure that is used to test the process the the, the witnesses okay i have to repeat that this comment this opinion is actually not about south africa i don't know about how south africa or how it is done in South Africa, but this is generally the general practice all over the world. Okay? It was established fact that they were 
according to the state, they were, they were uh, intruders. And even the police, when they went there, they established that yes, they were intruders. Okay. Of course, in the in court, it becomes a matter of debate, a matter of argument, because the the, the state we, um, the defense lawyers would argue that there are no intruders. Okay, but that is normal. So. The fact that the state had already established that they were intruders, okay, those were the main suspects. So those were the first people to, for the state to start probing, okay. Even if Ken Kumar was implicit, implicated, okay, but she would not. The state would not rush to take her as a suspect. That if if the state had to do that, they would defeat the whole case. Okay? They would automatically defeat the whole case because the case would focus on her, leaving out the main suspects, okay, which the state had already proved that they were there at the house. That's the, 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 the first point. The second point is why Kelly cannot be a suspect or cannot be even a witness in the case. The, the relationship between Kelly and the D. Kelly was a girlfriend to the okay. That already, that is conflict just according to the general practice all over the world. Okay? She cannot be put in the witness. Because in that case, it by default means that Kelly Kumar is. Okay? It's Kelly Kumar and the state. also arrest uh, or make her to be a suspect or to be a witness. So she will be like that case is like Senzo, Kerry and the state are pro prosecuting alright? They are prosecuting the suspects. So the state, Kerry and Senzo are on one side. Okay? Then the other side, the suspects. And the, that's the arrangement of the case. I'm talking about the general practice all over the world. So in that case, the state cannot arrest or cannot take Kerry uh, to be a witness immediately because that would be a conflict. A person cannot be a witness in his own case. You see, it doesn't happen like that. You don't become a witness in your own case. In the case where you you are the one prosecuting the suspects. You don't become a witness. That one is conflict of interest. If there will be any other case that will be later on, later on after this one is finished, then the state may go for to find out where there will be any link, okay, linking to her and she can be a witness or suspect. But at this moment, that cannot happen the way people are putting it. And the journalists and some experts have tried to explain, but it just shows that they have no knowledge of what they are talking about. But this is the real reason why Kerry cannot be a witness and cannot be a suspect. Because she is the one prosecuting those suspects. That's what it means. Thank you so much. I don't know if you can believe what I'm saying. I'm not saying this refers to South Africa, but this is the general practice all over the world. Because this question has been coming on very much and has been topic of uh, rumors, speculations, and gossiping. Okay, it looks like people don't know. Even the experts have not been able to explain nicely why Ken Ken Kuma cannot be part of the case or cannot be a witness. That's it. It's conflict of interest. The moment they do that, it will be a conflict of interest. It is like Ken Kuma is prosecuting the people at the same time. She's witness. It doesn't work like that. Witnesses have to be other people. Okay, because the witnesses there will be a conflict. You cannot talk about your own. Uh, story, right? That would be a total 
confusion. So that's why those witnesses, the witnesses must have the past credibility test. And one of the credibility tests, they must have some little independence. Okay. So you cannot be, you cannot have some a little independence in that kind of situation, that kind of scenario. So that's why you have seen that Kerry Kumara has not been picked as a witness. She has not been picked as a witness to this fight in that case because it's her own case. She's the one like prosecuting. That's how it is. That's the general practice all over the world. Thank you so much.